Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a weekly horoscope from the 22nd of April to the 28th of April 2018 and this is for you coming from Taurus. Now first I'd like to inform you that I do charge USD 50 for a 90 minute Skype session. It's not free of charge, please take note. Let's go to the 22nd Sunday and for you coming from Taurus it's a bad bad morning afternoon and even early evening period. There are planets that make you behave erratically, rebelliously and arrogantly. So with all this happening in the morning afternoon, I prefer you not to take the lead, not to make the plans but to just follow what others want to do. That way you won't get the blame. That day you will get the support in the end of whatever you want to do and that way you'll enjoy yourself as well. These planets of the morning afternoon are known for their unexpected problems coming your way. So be aware that whether it's accidents, verbal, physical, mental, all this can happen one way or another, even emotional ac accidents. Very fast planets morning and afternoon and so they'll make you behave very impulsively and say things impulsively as well. And that's how the problem will start. And that's how the blame game will start. So just mind your own business. Try to be humble. Try not to want to take charge. Lie low and you'll be able to weather the storm better in the morning afternoon. It's a beautiful Sunday waiting for you. Don't spoil it. Evening nightfall. Very powerful planets are there and some of them are okay with you. You could meet important people or you could contact important people or you could make very important decisions in this evening and nightfall period of 22nd Sunday. But the trouble is this morning afternoon erratic planets also want to join in the evening nightfall session. So with them there is not going to be a erratic, is not going to be a stable a kind of a evening nightfall period. So try your best not to want to take control or be arrogant and at least then you might be able to enjoy yourself in the evening nightfall session. Let's go to the 23rd Monday and it starts in a very busy way. You've got 10 things on your mind. You are stressed. There's a scattering of energy going on. There's a tendency to argue and quarrel. And there's a tendency to speed in whatever you do. Drive carefully to work. Otherwise, the morning itself, the bad news can start. And when you are, before leaving home, don't get into any kind of a conversation that can bring an argument with your marriage partner, family members, or with your love partner, or whoever you stay with. Now, at your place of work on the 23rd Monday, you're going to be stressed because there are too many responsibilities you have to attend to and also this can just burst out into arguments and so tell yourself that you have to remain very calm in the morning afternoon period and you have to tell yourself to focus on whatever is important never mind the five ten things you have to do just focus on what is very important and see it through concentrate on that and you'll be able to get things done in the morning and afternoon period. It's going to be tough going in the sense that you are going to be pulled left, right, center. Evening nightfall is wonderful and it produces so much support for you. So entertaining guests, entertaining yourself and your loved ones, mixing business and pleasure because some of these business planners will also be there in the evening nightfall period. You're going to get the advantage, you're going to find solutions where earlier you couldn't and you're going to find plenty of opportunities in whatever area you want to excel. So I like your evening nightfall very much. And romance will also be found and is in the air as well. The 24th Tuesday starts beautifully for you and you are just plain lucky. You go to work, you go to your place of business, even before leaving home everything is very nice. And so good news awaits for you everywhere and you have your creativity, you have your charm and whatever you say and do is very agreeable with everybody. Looking for a new job, make your applications on this morning of 
the 24th Tuesday. Chasing for a romance, go right ahead and make the contact. So everything that you want to do is going to work in the morning afternoon session. Evening, nightfall, there are planets that make you dominating and stubborn. And that's not a good idea because others are not going to tolerate it. And whether you are out with the people you love or the people you work with or the people you do business with, don't dominate and don't be stubborn. That way you'll be able to get things done evening, nightfall and even enjoy yourself. The 25th Wednesday starts very nicely at your place of work. There's every opportunity of doing what you want. If you're on the internet, you'll find that globally you're making very good contacts and you're doing things right so that your interest in the internet will bring rewards as well in the morning afternoon period. And if you're not on the internet and you are localized, then tell yourself good news awaits for you at work or in your business and many chances of doing some trading business or even being able to get good news about your job and business is there. Support is there. Evening nightfall turns the other way around. Now the planets who rule the unexpectedness are busy. And so they bring unexpected problems for you because that's their duty. So you've heard it from me. So be prepared evening nightfall period. Plans can be changed, plans can be cancelled. Everything changes around, the moods change. And those who were earlier friendly with you may not be friendly. And so some kind of disturbance is going on in the evening nightfall period. So tell yourself that to play safe, if you feel that it's not worth going out with people, well, just don't. The 26th Thursday starts very slowly and is going to end very fast. So it's a day which is ups and downs basically. So you have to be careful that on this 26th past problems can crop up at your place of work or in business. And also what you said in the past may be challenged. And at the same time cancellations of plans, cancellation of appointments can also be seen. So disappointments are there waiting to happen. And planets will go very slow so that delays are taking place as well. What a frustrating morning afternoon period. Just be patient, you can't do more, you can't be faster than your planets, remember that. Once you, once you outreach them, then you are going to be nowhere land because you need planets to guide you. And so morning afternoon, tell yourself a gloomy morning afternoon period, just concentrate on your work, make sure you meet your deadlines, blame can come. Evening, nightfall, very fast planets take over, but these gloomy planets would also like to be there in the evening. So you got the gloomy slow ones, you got the fast furious ones. And so the fast furious planets are going to make you, make your mind into a tiz. We call that a scattering of energy, mental scattering of energy, where you've got 10 things to do whizzing in your mind and can't settle down to get even one result. So write these things down on a piece of paper, what you have to do, on this 26th whole day and you will see that out of the nine eight things that you have to do maybe one or two are only urgent and that's how you lower your stress immediately well you may be out socializing in the evening nightfall period you can meet business people what i ask from you is never enter into an argument of any kind in this evening nightfall period or things will get bad the 27th friday for you coming from Taurus, it's a very bad and troublesome morning, afternoon and even a bit of the early evening period. Opposition, confrontation, provocation, either from you or from somebody else. And the end result is the tempers are flying and the words are being said and the actions are no good. Make sure all that doesn't come from you because the point that you're listening to me is to become aware. So you have to lie low. You have to stay out of trouble. You have to have teamwork. Be part of a team. And even when things go wrong and you're part of a team, the blame is not coming straight at you. So try to do all that. Th things will go on. It's not every minute that's like this. But an outburst suddenly will create tension. So make sure the outburst doesn't come from you. And also, some kind of struggle obstacles before you will be seen. 
So it's a morning, afternoon, you have to work at 10 points and you will only gain 2 points, something like that. Evening nightfall is going to be wonderful for you. That's how quickly a day can change. And so evening nightfall, all the solutions will come your way where you couldn't find them earlier. And friendships will be getting together. And chasing for the romance, you'll find that when you got rebuffed in the morning, you got good news in the evening. And if you're out with your loved ones, it's going to be a wonderful evening and nightfall wonderment of an enjoyment. And so go out and help yourself, mix business and pleasure, you can get the advantage, your creativity is flowing, be out, the peop be out with the people if you are in business with the business people and there is a lot to gain for you. Let's go to the 28th Saturday and for you coming from Taurus it doesn't start too well. Not a big deal, no, it's a question of arrogance. It's a question of wanting to be in a limelight and becoming egocentric. Don't allow any of that to happen. And if it's happening from others, just sit back and don't worry too much about it. Don't challenge anybody just for the sake of ego, ego fighting. And so be a person who remains polite. Be a person who remains friendly. Be supportive, be appreciative. And if you do all that, you are going to confuse these arrogant planets. They leave you alone and you will see that you get the better of everything. Evening nightfall, really wonderful. Now, you may be already on a holiday or you may be talking of travel or already traveling. And there are planets here which are global. And by that I mean that you should be on the internet. You can make fantastic, some kind of advantage come your way if you're on the internet. Either for personal reasons, business reasons or looking for a job reasons or any reason. And if you're not on the internet, then tell yourself, I'm going to have a good time. And you can mix business and pleasure, you can be out with the people that you love. And at the same time, you could be a person who is just enjoying yourself. So the Saturday ends beautifully for you. Well, as I said, I'm charging USD 50 for a 20 minute, um, for a 90 minute session. And during this 90 minutes, I'll have your date of birth and time of birth and look at your palms and even face read you and I'll tackle your next seven or eight years in all areas of your life. So go to Facebook, go to Skype, leave me an email and I'll come back to you. Until then, thank you and good luck.